Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. On the Rune chart, we've seen that pullback um, into today's lows. And this is likely the fourth wave that's currently unfolding. So we're going to take a look at that. Also take a look at the support levels. I think I mentioned the support levels yesterday already. So that shouldn't be anything new. Um, let's talk about the structure here. It's the, I, the idea is currently that um, we are here looking at a fourth wave pullback. After the market completed a larger degree fourth wave on the 23rd of January in the primary scenario, we should talk about that first. That's the primary count, a fourth wave, a larger degree fourth wave completed on Tuesday, the 23rd of January at $3.74. In the primary scenario, the market is now moving up in a fifth wave and should target minimally $8.63, possibly higher, maybe $10.82. 14 is a bit of a stretch, but you know, the area between 860 to 1080, that seems um, reasonable. That's the assumption at the moment. And this is the primary scenario, which I'm following until the $4.86 support level breaks. If that level breaks, the alternative comes into play in which way four is still in the making. In this case, well, it would have created quite a complex way four correction here. I hope not, because that would make it very complex. But in that case, then in the alternative, the $3.13 level is still support, which is why I've never taken out the orange support area down there. Now let's zoom in. Let's go to the detailed structure. And also here we can talk about alternative and primary on this perspective, on this time frame. But assuming the way four indeed bottomed, yeah. We've seen a wave one to the upside into the 31st of January highs. That was at around $4.95. A wave two into our support zone. Nice reversal for anybody who wanted to find an entry. There was another possibility. Third wave likely topped here. That's the assumption. Um, it reached the area between the 1.236 and the 1.38 FIP extensions between 594 and 618. So between the minimum target for a third wave and the ideal target. It's okay. I would have liked it to get to 618, but it doesn't necessarily need to. Also, I've noticed on the rune chart, different exchanges, different exchanges show slightly different structures. Okay, um, not, not structures necessarily, but prices. So it might be that on one or the other exchange, it might have reached that 1.38 extension. But because of the deep pullback that followed into um, today's lows, basically, the assumption would be that, yeah, this is an ABC structure. What I don't know is, is this just the A wave and we get a larger ABC of wave four or is the wave four already in? That's the, the, the same problem that we have, um, well, everywhere in, in corrections. You never know, right? We don't have a crystal ball. I would prefer, if you ask me, primary scenario would be that we're forming a larger, more pronounced ABC structure as shown here on the chart. In the alternative, the wave four is already in. Yeah. In the alternative, the wave four is already in or nearly in. But the difference between the two is in the alternative, it might just get another squiggle lower and then could go. And in the primary, we should see a bit more of a pronounced wave four. Why? Because I'm leaning towards, um, you know, a, a guideline specifically in crypto that we've noticed over the years, which is that a wave two often has the same duration as the wave four. Also, the wave two looks like a zigzag correction. What is that? It's just a correction, which is quite sharp. The wave four should actually ideally turn into a flat structure. It's the guideline of alternation that the wave two, if a sharp correction, if it's a sharp correction, then the wave four should be sideways. So that means it could get a high B wave and then come down and do something like that, or it might form a triangle before it's going higher. Okay, so um, yeah, but again, if we break above the last high at $6.09, this would be confirmation of the wave four is already in and we're following the pathway more directly. Very important is both scenarios are bullish. Yeah? Both are bullish. Um, 
And it doesn't really make a difference to anybody who's, let's say, scaling into this support region. It shouldn't matter if it's a B wave that's happening or the wave five. If a strong B wave occurs and the market makes some profits available, by all means, take them, you know. Yeah, but that's my update at the moment. I would only change my perspective here um, with a break below 486. That's just too low for a wave four. And then I would have to assume that the alternative is playing out, that the larger fourth wave never bottomed on the 23rd of January. That's my update about Rune. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.